Oh, and Cook from RSD. We're talking about not drinking alcohol, not needing the societal pressure. We've got Dina here as well. Hi. So uh, we're at a party, a big Hollywood celebrity party. You're not drinking alcohol, but you're doing all right. Uh, you know, I I can tell you. I took a tell you to drink. You can be social <laughs> without drinking. This is cool. So you don't you don't need to even drink. You can act like that when you're sober. <laughs> the ladies here are going. Oh See, and the and they, and they get drawn in. Look at this. What do you do? Love it. She feels my vibe. Yeah. Drunk man. She's like, that man drunk. Can I take advantage of him? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You want you want you want a piece of that? Can I hide my number in your beard? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and you can look for it later. I can find it later, yes. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's what happens. You don't drink alcohol at a party and the girls just start lining up. <laughs> yes, that's how. That's the secret. That's the actual secret. That's how we do it. But you see guys going out mm. trying to pick up girls it's sad, needing yeah. drinks to get sad. drunk. Super right? sad. Super sad because you're, you're dependent on a crush just to perform a basic life function. That's not the direction to go. The direction to go is to grow beards yes. and wear glasses. Yes, and that's how we do it. And wear glasses that's like a these. better direction. And on, on an RSD <laughs> boot camp, real social dynamics uh, boot camp, you actually say ban alcohol, right? They're not allowed to go. Yeah, because that's like a seminar environment. Like people like like it's like oh okay, well we're like at a club, but like you're trying to recall this shit. Like okay, like it's like the program's not like let's get tanked. Like otherwise we'll just make it, like if I was gonna do that, I would just call it like. Like the hangover boot camp. And like we would just get ripped yes. and we'd just be like, ah, for three days, and that's what we would do. Yeah. And maybe someday I'll do that. Yeah. But if I'm gonna do that, I would make it what it is. But if you're there to learn something, no, I would not do that. Yeah. I go, I mean, I, the, the funny thing is that when I quit alcohol, I got, I attracted more women and a higher caliber of, of women, like elegant, sophisticated women. As soon as I gave up alcohol, there's a correlation there, right? It's also because when you when you go out sober, you peak at the end of the night. When you got drunk, you peak at the start. So if we come in here and someone's already had a few drinks, they're more in party mode than we are right, right away because they're using drinks. Right. Whereas by the end of the night, we've been socializing the whole night for four hours, so we're peaking at our most fun a couple hours in. They're peaking at the start, but by the end of the night, they're stumbling out. Right. So when it counts, when you really meet someone at the end of the night, when you want to meet someone, yeah. They're stumbling around, and we're as sharp as we can be. Yeah. So, you know, do you want to peak earlier, or do you want to peak late? Do you want to have a hangover, or do you want to feel great the next day? That's kind of how I feel about it. And you've never drunk heavily or... or in high school. In high school? Yeah. It, many years ago. It was interesting. I mean, I, I don't regret it. It was cool to, like, just see what it's like to be like, okay, I feel my face, fuck yeah. Like, like it was... <laughs> Need, but it's not something I need to keep doing. Yeah. I don't need to keep doing it again and again. Like I've, I've seen it, I've done it, I'm good. I don't need to like, keep repeating it. This man right here is a legend, and let me tell you right now, once he True. does anal once, he's gonna do it again. Love you, brother. Thank you so much for your beer. <laughs> thank you for thank you for bringing the intellectual part to the conversation. Yes, I thank appreciate you. that. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, there you go. There you go. He's obviously had a few, few to drink, you yeah, know. Maybe. Maybe. Well, there you go. Owen Cook, thanks, buddy. I appreciate, okay. appreciate thanks. your time. And thank you to the um, to the to, to hey, yeah. Dina and Connor over here, <laughs> and to the other lovely ladies. Click, click the link here. Thirty Day No Alcohol Challenge. <laughs> Subscribe. Send us around. See ya. All right, I'm here with former NFL legend T.O. Mate, uh, I'm the creator of the Thirty Day No Alcohol Challenge. How much alcohol do you drink these days? Uh, 